Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am J.A. Dudley, and what is it? I am 43 years old. I've been training MMA for 20 years. Yeah, it's it's been 20 years. I walked into Bama boxing and mixed martial arts with big Dan Mergliata and smiling Eddie Rowland as the instructors and continue my career under the tutelage of um of eddie roland uh, uh, in-game combat sports academy and then roski combat sports uh and lucky devil fight club and it has it has been a long journey of long nights long training sessions different things like that, just conditioning around the clock, uh, just nonstop. And then uh, having to work on top of that for the very few years that I didn't have uh, a day job, uh, even though I was still bouncing at night and stuff, uh, rest and recovery, that was a big issue for me because I didn't rest. I was sleeping maybe an hour to two hours per night and just going, just nonstop. I, uh, when, when I was working for the telephone company, I would be up by five, six o'clock in the morning to get on the road, uh, well, to make sure that I was out the door and I was supposed to be at my first uh, job or first house by 8 a.m. Because I brought the um, telephone company van home with me. I was a home garager uh, and gave me a lot of leeway with what I needed to do, where I needed to go, different things like that. But I would get home from the end of the day, go drive an hour and a half, uh, if not more especially when I was living in Keysby, not when I was living in uh, back in East Orange, but get on the road, drive all the way up to Lodi and uh, and train for about four to five hours, then drive back home, do my conditioning, a thousand crunches, uh, body weight calisthenics, all that stuff to then uh, once I learned about it, started using a foam roller. So that was my my recovery. Train, 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 condition, 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 and lay on a foam roller, roll around on a foam roller for a while to loosen things up, and then eventually go to sleep by like 1, 2 o'clock uh, in the a.m. and back up at 6. So that was my... Uh, that was how I functioned, and that was me forcing myself to get to sleep. I wasn't. I, I would have to limit my time on the computer and uh, trying to watch movies, different things like that. I had to shut down because I was focusing on that career while involved in another career. So uh, that that would trying to wear so many hats. That, that's a big problem with mine. I will take on all of these different responsibilities and just continue to go, 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 and not stop. There was even some times where I was, uh, I was fight training, working for the telephone company, also a nightclub bouncer, and then from time to time do bodyguard work when uh, people would hire my company and I couldn't staff everything uh, as it needed to be. So I was just going, trying to figure out how to make everything happen. <clears throat> but I just wasn't resting, I wasn't recovering. I, um, uh, I wanted to start doing ice baths, uh, the um, sauna. Sauna is oh, so great. I eventually purchased one of those infrared saunas off of Amazon where it looks like a little tiny refrigerator with your head popping out. There's probably some 
pictures of me online on Instagram or something where I'm sitting inside of it. And that was the evolution of, um, of my rest and recovery. I would have to schedule something out of my day to, uh, after training, after the at-home conditioning, to sit in a sauna and not fall asleep in it uh, and just sweat out all the toxins. You feel so great, so amazing uh, afterwards, which I, I think I need to get another one or try and build one out of wood and make it a wood burning uh, sauna. That would be awesome. Nice little project. I'll put that on my notes of things to do. Uh, especially living off grid now, power, uh, power and electricity is a hot commodity. So, uh, trying to use an electric sauna, or maybe I could use a propane sauna, hook up a propane tank, heater, and uh, I'm going to look into that, see, uh, see how that'll work out. But I would do the sauna, be on a foam roller, then finally get some sleep, then uh, out the door again before sunrise. And I wonder, I wonder if I had more time and opportunity to rest and recover or had, had someone forcing me to rest and recover uh, someone with knowledge, not only nutritional knowledge, uh, body maintenance and recovery that wouldn't have just let me go full tilt. That's one reason why I want to open up a fight school out here where I'm living in Oklahoma and to, to use all that I've learned these past 20 years, and that's the, uh, the 20 years in the fight game. Uh, even before that, there were many years of me playing semi-pro football, lifting weights and all that stuff. But from 2003 to now, it's been all about jujitsu, boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, and judo. So that, uh, that has been what I've been dealing with. And when you train all of those individually, your recovery time and how you recover and rest all changes. You, uh, you wouldn't think that, oh, the recovery I need from wrestling versus, uh, versus jujitsu, like, oh, those are both grappling, but the recovery is completely different, but I know this now as a uh, as an older man. But I need to be able to share this with other people, to uh, share this with people that are directly in front of me, people that have the passion but don't have the know-how, so I can mold them, so they uh, they can push and push and push but know when they need to reel it back. Like with me now, I don't have any major injuries or ailments or anything like that. I was blessed uh, in, in that arena. I don't even have cauliflower ear, which a lot of people I know have cauliflower ear from somebody just barely touching their ear, their ears will blow up. But no no injuries, just, uh, I guess, old man stuff, uh, uh, body clicks and different things, tightness, soreness, but the tightness and soreness is on me because I, I've been doing very poor body maintenance. I'm, I'm not getting up and stretching for an hour every day, making sure that my entire body is moving the way that it needs to. I'm not drinking as much water as I need to every day that my body needs to. I, um, I, I train, I hit the heavy bag, I do my conditioning and everything, but it's not at the same intensity that it used to be. I, I, I'm also not u utilizing the sauna. Uh, that, that is something that I definitely need to do. Even um, my wife and older son football, 
they got me a gift card to a, a place back in New Jersey. Uh, it was one of those cryogenic, uh, uh, like cryotherapy session things. They paid for it, and I, uh, I did not even schedule or make the time to go use that. I, and that was something that I wanted to do extremely bad, just like uh, being in a uh, sensory deprivation tank. I only was able to do that one time, and it was an amazing, it was an amazing experience being able to just go and float. Uh, I wanted to do that more and more and more, but never, never took the time for myself to go do that. And that was the same thing with the cryo uh, thing. I think it's negative 200 and something degrees for about two minutes, if you could even stand that. It's, uh, it puts your body into such a recovery stasis because your, your, your body, the cold, the extreme cold just makes your body tense up and go into protection mode. So it boosts your uh, white blood cell count and all this other stuff that is extremely beneficial, but I didn't take advantage of that. Now where I live, I I would be, uh, I would be surprised that the closest one is not at least three to four hours away. So, one day I'll be able to check that, uh, or I could just go hop in the lake when it's freezing cold outside or below zero and then try and make it back to the van to warm up before I'm an icicle. So I, I know what I need to do to continue this for another 20 years, 40 years, 60 years however long I exist on, uh, in this realm that the Father has put me here. I have to make sure that I'm able to upkeep this vessel that I was blessed with to be able to continue to move so I'm not, I'm not out here struggling. I'm not having to walk with a cane. Well, well I did have to walk with a cane, but that was uh, after high school. Uh, when I had front anterior compartment syndrome that, that no one knows how that happened. It was the father saying, hey, uh, I'm up here. I can shut you down real quick and it won't be explained. So get your act together. And eventually I did. Now I'm here with all of y'all. So y'all let me know what you do to rest and recover and how it's working for you. Thank you for watching. Shalom.